Michelle Edwards here with Trailhead Accounting Solutions. Thanks so much for joining us. Today I'm working in QuickBooks Online and I want to walk you through how to write off an invoice for bad debt. So what bad debt is, is if you have a client that you've already invoiced for services and they decide that they are not going to pay for whatever reason. Um, and you don't want that income showing up on your books anymore. You've tried to collect it and they're not going to pay. So let's write it off. So first let's start off you will already probably have an invoice in QuickBooks, but I don't, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly create one. So let's pretend like we're working with ABC Company. They had some services, and let's say it was for $1,000. So we've got our invoice set up. Now we're gonna want to go and take that off of the books. So what you wanna do is click on this little plus sign up here, come down to the customers row, and we're going to come down to credit memo, select credit memo. And we're going to pick your customer, so ABC Company. And the credit memo date is that you're going to want to put in today's date most likely. So put in the today's date, which is there. And then here under product and service, I already have one set up for bad debt, but if you don't have a bad debt item already set up, you're going to want to click add new. And we will set up a new um, item for bad debt. So the name's going to be bad debt. A description you can put in bad debt so that just automatically fills when you use this. Uh, the price, you're going to want to leave the price just as nothing at zero because you know bad debt kind of changes depending on every client and what invoice you're writing off. And then down here on your income account you're going to want to scroll down here to your expenses and if you have a expense line item called bad debts you're going to want to select that. If you don't have um, a bad debt in your chart of accounts, you're going to have to cancel out of this, cancel out of the credit memo, and then click up here on the uh, cog and create a new chart of accounts expense line called bad debts. So go ahead and set that up, and you can come back and select it. So I already have a bad debt set up, so we're just going to pick that. And then you will click Save. So then back here we're going to pick our bad debt product or service. And I forgot to fill that in. So bad debt, and then I usually make a note, um, customer refusing to pay invoice. Or you could make a note, you know, why I ever, whatever reason he has got that he's not paying. The amount of the invoice that he's not going to pay is for a thousand, so we'll go ahead and put in a thousand. And then hit save and close. Uh, one more trick that you could do if you want to is there are some you know additional notes you could put on here that show up if you print the memo. You can also make some notes to yourself on you know what's going on with this. So you can always add those or add attachments too if you want any attaching documents. But um, for simplicity, we're just going to leave it at that. Hit save and close. Now the cool thing with QuickBooks is, is usually it will go ahead and match it so let's double check so we're going to come under customers and if you've got a ton of customers you can type in here and search their name but I just have a couple so we'll pick ABC company we're gonna come down here and it's already showing that we've got our invoice number then we've got the credit memo that we just issued and QuickBooks automatically kind of matched these for me so this customer is going to show that they've got a zero balance and no open transactions, um, which is kind of cool. If QuickBooks does not automatically match those for you, let me show you what to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this transaction that QuickBooks put in there. So let's say it didn't match them up. It didn't recognize that this credit memo is for this invoice. So you'd have your invoice that's showing open and then you'd have your credit memo is showing unapplied. So on the invoice line, you're going to want to click on Receive Payment. You're going to want to use today's date. And the amount that you're going to receive from this customer is zero. So make sure that this is zero dollars. Outstanding transactions, you're going to click off your invoice. And then down here for credits, you want to click off that credit memo because you want to apply a thousand dollar credit against your thousand dollar invoice. To come down here you can verify the amount you're going to credit is zero and save and close. So then back on the customer screen you can see that the invoice is showing is paid and the credit memo is showing is being closed meaning it's been used up. 
So one last thing I want to show you how this affects your financial reports. So let's go over here under reports. Click down here on profit and loss. And I believe both these transactions were dated for um, October. So you can sh I can show you what that's going to look like on your numbers for you. <coughs> so as you can see, I've got services for $1,000, which was my invoice for them. And then you come down here, um, and we've got bad debts for $1,000. So that is an expense. So it's going to net out to be zero, but for some reason I've got a cost of goods sold in here, so we've got a negative 50. But as you can see, the $1,000 income, $1,000 expense, it equals to be zero. So that's how it works. I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out. Again, this is Michelle Edwards with Trailhead Accounting Solutions, and you can find us at www.trailheadaccounting.com. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day. Bye-bye.